good morning students today let's study our 14th chapter baswas farm in this chapter we will learn about various farming methods used by farmers india is the land of agriculture two third of people in india are farmers farmers grow different types of crops do you know what farmers do to grow the crops there are different steps in growing the crops there are different process involved in growing crops at first farmers prepare the soil the soil is turned and loosened second step sowing of seeds third step manuring to increase production fourth step irrigation irrigation means watering the plants fifth process of removing unwanted plants sixth step is adding pesticide and inside insecticides to keep away the pest and insects then seventh step is harvesting harvesting means cutting off crops after it is ripe these are the different steps in the cultivation of crops this lesson talks about the process of cultivating an onion crop let's read our chapter baswas farm i am baswa my father is a farmer we live in Balwaniga village in Karnataka it is the month of july like every year appa my father is preparing the field to sow the onion crop there are so many things to be done at this time to help him i too go to the field with appa in the last few days appa has been using the kundi and i and roach to dig the soil loosen it and make it soft in baswas area an an implement called gundi is used to loosen the soil what is this kind of implement called in your area ke baswa lived in the village in karnataka in karnataka they are using an implement called gandi to loosen the soil you want to write what kind of implement used to soften the soil in your area then find out from a farmer or some elders in your family what kind of crops are grown in your area next sowing the seeds this year also my father will sow onion seeds in the field the bullocks will pull the courage and appa will walk behind them sprinkling the seeds i would also like to do this just like my appa but appa says that it is necessary to drop the right amount of seeds at a regular distance This is not so easy to do. He says that I may drop too many seeds at one place. I must wait till I am a little older, little older to be able to do this properly. The sprouts appear. It is now 20 days since the seeds were sown. 
the onion plants have started to sprout along with onion plants weeds have also come up weeds grow in fields and weeds grow in fields and gardens without being planted appa says that we must remove the weeds so that they do not take up all the water and fertilizers if there are too many weeds then the onion plants will not be healthy appa amma uncle and i we all help appa to take out the weeds growing plants i am happy to see the plants growing they are tall enough to reach my knees the leaves have started turning yellow and drying up this means that the onions are ready to be taken out i may not go to school for the next few days since i will also need to help Do you know why everyone at home will have to work to take the onions out it is important that this should be done at the right time if we are late the onions will not the onions will rot in the ground itself and all our hard work will be wasted baswa help Baswa helps his father in the fields. Do you help the elders in your family in their work? What do you help with? Do you enjoy doing this work? The onion crop. Everyone at home is happy. This time the onions are big and healthy. Amma and auntie use the illage to cut the dried leaves from the top of the onions the illage is sharp and you have to be careful not to cut your fingers appa and uncle fill the sacks with onions appa will take them in a truck to sell in the big market this is about the chapter Now let's summarize what we have learned. Yes, we have learned about different process of growing crops. We have learned about the different process of growing crops. At first, preparing the soil. Second, sowing of seeds. manuring irrigation process of removing unwanted plants adding pesticide and insecticides then harvesting hope all of you understood this thank you